no visitors to appreciate the view and a holiday park in limbo. I'm hemorrhaging cash, I've got zero income and I am very, very worried by the noises coming out of government. We've got to get tourism going again. A question from Cornwall to the Prime Minister yesterday about how to manage tourism and the health fears from releasing the lockdown. But we can't allow uh, an, such a big uh, influx of tourists uh, as to uh, create a second uh, spike. If we're able to open, but with social di distancing, the toilet blocks will have reduced capacity. We simply won't be able to function with the touring pitches we've got. But things are far from clear and they're having to keep going here when there might be no season at all or one with big restrictions. A phased reopening will almost certainly kill our summer for us. And that means winter is coming and we will have no fat on the bone. We'll be like a squirrel without a hidden supply of nuts. It's going to be a disaster for us. The message from the holiday park industry, keep everyone safe and keep us afloat. What we need is the support and the support is for seasonal businesses all the way through to next spring. A furlough system that works for small businesses, help with our costs. These are businesses with money going out and no money coming in and their year, which only runs from March to October, almost running out on them already. The owner here says he's losing sleep over what the future holds for his business, his staff and tourism as a whole. Tamsin Marvel, BBC Spotlight, near Padstow.